Hey everybody, it's Brandon again. I got kind of an easy and straightforward one today here. We're going to look at how to install Inkscape on Chrome OS Flex. And I actually kind of went over this a little bit <clears throat> in my overall video about how to get Linux working on Chrome OS Flex, I think. Uh, but we're just going to do the standalone way of how to get Inkscape working, just in case anyone wants to know. And it's pretty easy to do, and it actually runs reasonable on Chrome OS Flex. First of all, if you don't have the Linux environment running on your Chromebook, uh, see my video on how to enable that. These same steps should work on a uh, regular Chrome OS also. Are gonna, all you are going to have to do is type sudo apt install Inkscape, if I can type it. And we'll let it go. And for those of you who don't know what Inkscape is, it is a open source application for creating vector graphics, SVG files, scale vector graphics. And uh, it works very good. I use it for my business quite a bit for uh, making 2D game graphics and things like that. And for icons for different applications. So it's really a uh, good and handy app. And for someone looking to switch to Chrome OS full time, it's a good one to have in your repository. Because while there are online, you know, web based solutions for editing SVG files, they're not that great. At least not at this time. But uh, Inkscape. If you don't want to pay money, in my opinion, is kind of the gold standard. And just while that's installing, one thing you're going to want to know, since it is a Linux application, uh, to open files that are saved on your device, the folder that they're in are going to have to be shared with Linux. So, for example, say I have uh, a folder like My Graphics. You'd want to right-click on that and say Share with Linux, because um, the Linux applications can only see uh, files that are shared with Linux. <clears throat> so that's an important thing to note. So here we are waiting for it to go. And if, you, uh, if you're interested in learning how to install other Linux applications on Chrome OS Flex, do subscribe to the channel because uh, we go over that quite a bit here. We also go through other things, but uh, the bulk of it lately has been how to install different Linux things on Chrome OS, which is good. Good to know. And this is Chrome OS Flex, uh, the 101 version, so I am fully up to date as of today. 99, we're almost there. That last 99%. Okay. Now when you install Linux app, you're going to find it. First of all, it's going to be up at the top right when you just installed it, but all your Linux stuff is going to be in the Linux apps folder. So go to Inkscape. And a lot of times, um, oh, this actually came right up. I was going to say, a lot of times, the first time you run a uh, Linux program, it takes a while to start. This one came up pretty quick. So, yeah, there you go. You got Inkscape. Um, works good. Works just like you'd expect on any other platform. Very handy. So, if you're someone that does uh, vector graphics, um, this is a good alternative to the Adobe Illustrator. And it also works very good. A lot of features. It's a full-featured uh, vector editing program and you can also get this for Linux and uh, Windows and Macintosh or Mac OS as it were so yeah that's Inkscape on uh, Chrome OS Flex um, if you liked what you saw here like the video and if there's other things you want me to test on this let me know I do have a little list but I am getting through most of the stuff you guys asked me to test so um, I might have to move on to uh, something besides Chrome OS every video if uh, I run out of things to test on here. So thanks for watching, and I hope you have all you all have a good day. Bye now.